Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video. I hope that you guys are doing great today. And of course, I'll be taking you through what is currently happening across the North Atlantic, as well as NOAA's prediction for this hurricane season, which includes the probability of seeing a near normal, above normal, or below normal season, the number of storms, hurricanes, and major hurricanes they're expecting, and why they made the conclusion they did. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tough notification bell so that you never miss an important update as we take a look at what is happening uh, right now on the overall satellite imagery of the uh, North Atlantic, of course, there is quite a bit of activity taking place across some areas. And the fourth tropical wave of the season has emerged off Africa. They're just coming very quickly. And so uh, there we have the orange line to show the axes of the other three tropical waves, one of which is pretty close to the Caribbean in the vicinity of northeastern south america and it definitely has some activity in association with it but in terms of what is happening off the coast of africa that is going to be the trend uh, where we always see this activity coming off Africa as we have these tropical waves. Uh, and of course, at this point in time, uh, we don't typically see development. However, if they make their way to the Caribbean with enough activity, they can induce some rainfall or even some dangerous conditions. So let's zoom in. Uh, first, we're taking a look at the vicinity of northeastern South America. So we have that tropical wave uh, and the axis of it is currently located over Suriname. And here we can definitely see some convective activity in association with it. And so, uh, as I said, if it manages to maintain this activity as it approaches the Windward Islands, it could induce some showers definitely in the clear for the ABC islands uh, as a result of the convective activities likely that uh, there are uh, cloudy conditions maybe with a brief shower or so uh, but for the most part nothing much happening in the region let's go to the uh, general view of the Caribbean here and we can see that we have lots of activity along uh, the eastern Pacific coast of the Central American territory is a lot of convective activity and uh, we even have some showers making their way from Belize and the Yucatan right in that region but throughout the rest of the area we don't see much activity things looking pretty quiet over in the east for most of the Lesser Antilles maybe some passing clouds at the most with uh, an isolated shower looking into the vicinity of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands also pretty clear this morning beautiful sunshine likely uh, same story for Jamaica the Cayman Islands Hispaniola and sections of Cuba but uh, going to eastern Cuba we see all of that activity. Now that is in association with the low pressure area as well as the trough. Uh, and that is where we have our system highlighted with a very low chance of developing. And uh, we can see that this extensive area of showers and thunderstorms is currently impacting the Bahamas, of course, as well as maybe sections of Florida going to the Carolinas and maybe even for southeastern Georgia as well, but, but not as much uh, activity within the state. And so if you're in especially the Carolinas, as you're going to be heading into this weekend, that rainfall activity is going to continue. And as such, it can lead to flooding, especially in those flood prone areas. So please, if you're there, take all the necessary precautions and do not take any unnecessary risks. And so now let's go ahead and delve into what Noah is expecting for this upcoming hurricane season. And so, of course, they gave their prediction yesterday uh, in the late morning. And uh, we're going to be taking a look at that. So here we have uh, this pie chart here with the chance of seeing an above normal, near normal or below normal uh, hurricane season so the probability and uh, we can see that these are very close but of course the highest chance uh, is a 40% chance of seeing a near normal season there is a 30% chance of below normal and 30% chance of above normal activity so it is a very complex season to forecast and there is a lot of uncertainty down the road now why is now a calling for this now let me read a section of an article that was posted 
So uh, it reads that the upcoming Atlantic hurricane season is expected to be less active than recent years due to competing factors, some that suppress storm development and some that fuel it, driving this year's overall forecast for a near normal season. So uh, I'm really thinking that we could uh, see a bit more activity than last year, maybe around the same amount of activity. Uh, but in terms of the ranges, they are calling for 12 to 17 named storms, of which five to nine could become hurricanes and one to four major hurricanes. So the best case scenario in terms of this prediction would be 12 named storms, five hurricanes and one major hurricane. Uh, but the worst case scenario would be 17 named storms, nine hurricanes and four major hurricanes. Overall for this year, we've got those very warm sea surface temperatures, that anomalous warmth across the uh, North Atlantic. And there is also a decrease in the Saharan dust. So it's somewhat below normal because around this time last year, it was very much abundant, suppressing activity. Waves had no convection in association with them because of the dry air. And now we're not really seeing that happening. So there's a decreased quantity of Saharan dust out there. Now that is going to be helping to result in more instability and moisture, which fuel tropical cyclones. Now, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we're not really looking for anything coming from the coast of Africa in terms of the waves developing so early on. And I mean, the season hasn't even officially begun yet. But as we head deeper into the summer, when the waters of the tropical Atlantic get warmer and the wind shear gets more conducive, we're definitely going to be seeing uh, quite a bit of activity coming from the tropical Atlantic. And so uh, now in terms of the names, of course, here's the list of names for this uh, hurricane season that will be used to name tropical cyclones. And this is the same list used back in 2017 with a few exceptions. So Harold, Idalia, Margo, and Nigel are replacement names for Harvey, Irma, Maria, and Nate, respectively. Those were some destructive storms uh, back in 2017. And of course, the lists rotate every six years unless a storm name was retired and replaced as we're seeing now. So guys, uh, that is what NOAA is anticipating for this hurricane season. And of course, I'm going to be linking uh, the entire article down in the description. So you can go ahead and read through it if you uh, are desirous of gaining more information. But that is pretty much it for this update. And I hope that you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be weatherwise.